Hello and welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and like you can see, the quality of the audio is a lot better. But unfortunately, the quality of the video isn't. So basically, my phone I was using to record is basically broken. So now I'm using a very old phone to record. So the quality of the video is probably shocking. If so, I apologize, but the audio is working. If you prefer the my other phone with that camera and have no audio, well, I do have audio, but no mic, I can switch. So let me know which one you prefer. This way, with okay or good quality um, audio with a shocking camera, or do you prefer a camera uh, which is pretty good but rubbish audio? Let me know down in the comment section. But anyway, this trick I'm about to show you is another Ed Marlowe's effect. The last trick I performed was with the uh, glasses, the prediction, which is a very cool trick, I think. But now we're going to move back on to Ed Marlowe's, and this is pretty easy to do as well. So let's have a look at the performance. <laughs> what the trick looks like so yes it uses a pack of playing cards also we do need a beautiful assistant but unfortunately Debbie is on a game so we can't use her but we can improvise so what's going to happen is you're going to show the spectator what they are going to do so you instruct your spectator say look what you're going to do you're going to cut some cards you're going to turn them over and then you're going to cut deeper turn them over and whatever the first face down card is will be your card so for example it would be the eight of hearts so we'll do that again just so you can understand you're going to cut some cards you're going to turn them over then you're going to cut deeper turn them over and whatever card is face down that will be your card okay for example the ten of clubs so that's what's going to happen so now the spectator is going to do this. They're going to cut the cards, turn them over. They're going to cut deeper, turn them over. And whatever card this is, it's right here, that is going to be their card. I'm going to leave it on the table, right on top. You instruct the spectator to cut some more cards off, which they will. Cut some more off. So now, so now you've got four packets. I'll give these a, a, a quick shuffle as well, actually, to make it a bit more fair. So now, like I said, I said I needed a, a beautiful assistance, but don't worry, because over here, I have one, two, three, four, beautiful assistance. That is the four queens. So you can do this with a, well, any four of a kind. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I just use this as the beautiful assistance. Uh, but yeah, that is the trick. This is the trick by Ed Marlowe. And now I'm gonna teach you exactly how this works. Right, so this is the tutorial of the trick. So all you need to do is remove a four of a kind. It doesn't matter if it's the queens, the kings, the aces, but for example, I am using the queens. So the only thing you have to do, you don't have to do this, you have a red, black, red, or you could do a black, red, black. It, it really doesn't matter. But they're gonna go on top of the deck your queen of hearts is going to go to second to the bottom so now you've got a queen second at the bottom and at the top are your queens okay that is the setup and the reason is it's because you can flash the bottom card for this effect which i'm not gonna say it fools people but it just shows that there's no queen there so now uh there is a sleight of hand version and there's a self-working version. So the sleight of hand version is you have to do a riffle shuffle and add one card or two cards on top because they're going to do the cut deeper force, which you probably already guessed. But in the performance, you, I did it twice and you saw two different cards and that's adding two cards. Okay, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to reverse the queen face up. So for this... You're going to do a riffle shuffle. Don't forget, in your left hand, you've got a queen. So the left hand has to go down first, then shuffle the cards. Then you want to add one card on top. Well, I've got two cards. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've got one card. 
So you're going to add one card on top, shuffle. So now I've got, I will call it an X card. We've got an X card, then we've got the uh, three queens. And then you've still got the queen at the bottom. And again, you're going to shuffle, do the exact same thing. The left hand's going to drop first, you've got the queen. Then you're going to shuffle up. You want to make sure as well, you don't want to shuffle the queens in. You have to keep them as a group. So you're going to shuffle the left hand first, shuffle the right hand. Make sure you add one card on top. So now you've got two X cards, followed by your three queens. And at the bottom, you've still got your setup. That's a sleight of hand version, uh, but if you wanted to start this, you could just add two cards on top or one card on top, depending on how many times you want to explain it to them. So now you've got two, two random cards, two X cards and three queens. You're going to explain to them what they're doing and you are doing the cut deeper force onto yourself. So if you don't know what that is, you're just going to cut about 10 or 15 cards, turn them over and then cut deeper, so make sure you cut more than these, so you are, that's why it's called a cut deeper force, you cut more cards and then turn all them over, you're going to spread, and when you see the very first face down card, that is going to be one of the X cards, so you turn it over and say look, your card for this example will be the seven of clubs, all I do then is place that seven inside the group, what's in my right hand, then I Take these cards and put them inside the center of the pack. I'll do that. Then you do it again to show them. And the reason I do it twice is so they're seeing two cards. And I'll show you what I mean. So tell them to do it again. Cut a few cards. Cut deeper. Then when they're spreading, this card is seeing another random card, which is, for example, the eight. So now when they do it this time, they're going to cut to a queen. So... To show the eight, say, look, you could have actually picked an eight. These cards go back in the center. Now it's their turn to do it. So in their eyes, they think they could cut to any card, but we know it's going to be a queen. So they're going to do the same thing. They're going to cut. They're going to cut deeper. You're going to spread the cards till you find your first uh, face down card, which is a queen. What's going to happen is your right hand cards are going to go onto the table. And the card, what they stopped at, is going to go on top of it. So hopefully you can see that on camera. I'll leave it just there. Now, you have two queens on top and you still got a queen second to the bottom. You instruct them to cut some cards again, which are going to cut some cards. And the third time as well. Making sure you've got a few cards left in your hand. Because now we're going to do a shuffle. We need to shuffle this queen of hearts to the top of the pack. And you're probably thinking, that's impossible. How are you gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna show you. So, it's basically like an overhand shuffle, but you're doing like a halo slip shuffle. I think that's the word. So, I'm gonna try and do it like this so you can see it. So, basically, you're gonna drag the bottom and the top card together. So, hopefully, I'm at a really bad angle here. I'm sliding the bottom and top card together. Now, I'm just going to shuffle all the cards till the top to the bottom queen comes to the top like so so now the queen's at the top do that again so the queen's here so i'm just sliding the top and bottom card off together the queen's here so now i'm just going to shuffle the cards and then when i get close i do single cards so now I'm doing it very slowly. I'm getting close to the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is here. So the setup we've got now is a Queen of Hearts, an X card, two Queens, and the Queen of Spades. That is what you, you are at at the moment. So what you need to do to make it look like you've turned all the cards over my right hand is going to grab this packet and my left hand is going to grab the third packet. So not these two, these two. So you're going to grab them and then I bring them up and I snap. And these are going to go back on the first two. So again, from here, you're going to pull up and put them down on the first two. 
Then you can come over here, snap these down because they're of the exact, they're, they're in the right position. So if you do that at speed, you might not have seen that on the performance, you probably, you probably missed it, or you probably saw it, I don't know. So it depends on what your pattern's gonna be. So look over here, it's actually two queens, and over here are the other two queens, or whatever you're gonna say. So that is it. I'm not gonna go through that again. Like I said, if you are struggling with anything, rewind the video back or is that what you call it rewind or go back on the video uh, if we have missed anything now let me know down in the comment section and i'll do my very best to try okay, and help so you. that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it uh, i am going to apologize one more time for the probably poor quality of the camera or the video uh, i and it's going to stress me out when i edit all this video together and thinking, oh my God, I can't upload that, but I have to. I will, I'm sure I will get something sorted out after Christmas because me and my girlfriend have spent a fortune on Christmas. And if you're watching this now, you'll probably done the same thing. But I'm still gonna upload, I'm still gonna use this rubbish camera and hopefully you guys don't mind. And if, if anyone says this camera quality is better than the one I'm using, then I'm gonna quit YouTube. <laughs> right anyway don't forget hit that like and subscribe and i'll see you next time